everybody, so today I'm going to be doing this look. Let me see if y'all can see it. It's very St. Patrick, you see. Let me show you in a different lighting because I really don't like you can see it that well. Okay. Can you see it now? It's kind of St. Patrick'sy and kind of Egyptian and cat like and fairy like, I think, with the little twig thing there I've been a doing. And let me just set this back up. Okay, now what I do first is I take my Urban Decay Primer Potion right there. Oh no, okay. Still in view? Okay. Take my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And just, this is one of those looks where you think I'm wearing too much makeup, but on the holiday you will take it very seriously. Okay, I do that. Now in my Urban Decay, one of my Urban Decay palettes, this is the purple one with the awesome thing, ah, and the thingies just fell out, and I'm going to take Graffiti, that's this one right here, and I'm going to take that, and I'm just going to pack it on a lid, and I mean pack it on. And a little bit under. Mm, excuse me. What a big dinner. Okay. Now that that's in there, we take my other Urban K palette and I take Absin. And it's an alcoholic drink, by the way. And it actually looks like the green fatty. Okay. This kind of adds kind of a golden shimmer tone to it, like the green fairy drink. And now that that's on, um, I just go in with another Urban Decay, which is Protest. And I just apply that right into the crease. And I'm using mostly greens. And you can tweak this to however you like. I do not care. No patent on this. And then we take the Maybelline palette from Forever Go. This is Irish Mist. And we take the darker one. We just apply it everywhere. Right in my crease, ah, what I do. If you get a little messy, it's okay. You can always go back. Let me take the lighter one. I'll put it everywhere. Since it's St. Patrick's Day. Not technically. I'll tell you a story in a minute. take a CoverGirl palette, which is one of my favorites, this one, and I'll take the green one. I've used this a lot. Uh, now I'll take the white part of that and just go down into here so it kind of gives you the green again. Okay, that looks about right. And now I take my eyeliner and just kind of smudge it near the crease and near your lash line and down in your water line. It doesn't matter, we're going back with a littler brush. Ow. I always mess up on my right eye with the, this eyeliner. 
That's weird. I don't mess up with this thing. That's that brush right there. Um, it's a Smashbox one. So you take a cream eyeliner. We just start going in correcting. And really just kind of get a bit on your brush. We just wing it out a lot. So you got a nice wing here. And now, I'm going to make sure you can see this. Okay. I sometimes mess up so I don't laugh. Okay, I'm being extremely silent here. Okay, it's a surgical process. Okay, now that that's done, you can curl your lashes or not. I just decided not to. And you take your mascara. I'm using Colossal Lash from I Have No Idea. And you just your eyelashes. Okay. Now that that's all on, let's do my one of my cool little designs. I don't know what this is going to look like, but it's supposed to look like a clover. Okay, now just take some graffiti and go in shading that. This is not necessary. I kind of messed up, so. It's like I did a heart for Valentine's Day and I did like a pinky cream base to it and put fishnet on top of it and it turned out really beautiful. I mean, I could wear that just for fun. Okay, but you see, it's all in and I look like a leprechaun. See, I look like a leprechaun. Now, no one can pinch me the St. Patrick's Day and my story I wanted to tell you Eight minutes, wow. Um, the story I wanted to tell you is I've taken driver's ed, the written work, on St. Patrick's Day. So, there you go. Peace out, my home dog. Goodbye.